Mirable visu, wonderful to behold. Time, space, from the infinitesimal to the infinite. Tethered to reality by only one thing, an immortal language, Latin. Salvete. Hello, I am Magister J. <laughs> That's Magister Janicki. Sorry, just got caught in a thermal that blasted me up into the air. But first, I have a shocking confession to make. From the Latin, confessio, a third declension noun meaning, well, confession. St. Augustine wrote his masterful Confessiones between 397 and 400 A.D. It has been hailed as one of the great pieces of Western literature and... Uh, but I digress. From the Latin, digredior, I take steps away or go away. I had just finished episode one and had returned to the cloister, from the Latin verb claudere, to close, and the noun claustrum, an enclosure. Latin nouns and verbs often work hand in glove like that. To water the horses, spazia, and tempus, and to oil the time cart. Our cart driver, French mathematician René Descartes, was playing Descartes. Ite pisces, go fish, with Carl Linnaeus, who developed binomial nomenclature for naming organisms. Carl likes Latin. I saw something fluttering in the air and asked Carl, Carl, how do you say butterfly in Latin? Papilio. How about monarch butterfly? Danaus plexipus. Plexipus. Carl Linnaeus claims he was the first to name the monarch in his 1758 Sistema Naturae in the genus Papilio, which later became the type species for the genus Danaeus. Uh, where was I? Oh, like most of you, we have a 525 transducer in the cloister. It converts energy from one form to another, because transduce is from the Latin to lead across. If you're a time traveler like me, you know that when you return from the past or future, you have to get rid of stored energy, like the static buildup on your sweater or socks that crackles on carpets in the wintertime. Anywho, I wasn't paying attention. Instead of setting the dial on Magister, I set it on Monarch. I blame Linnaeus for the mix-up. Uh, yes, now my confession. I have metamorphosized, another Latin word, into a Monarch butterfly. Yes, right now, my discipli, I am a butterfly. And now I'm migrating from the Latin migrare to change residence or condition. The days are getting shorter and shorter. So, as a monarch butterfly, I'm basically flapping from North America to Mexico with thousands of other monarchs. Some go from Canada to Mexico about 3,000 miles. That's longer than the beard I had. And now, I'm flying at about 9 kilometers, about 5.5 miles per hour. 1,000 plus feet in the air, give or take. This is not something I do every day. I believe I'm on the central flyway headed south. Apparently, I have a built-in compass or two in my little butterfly body. As we know, the word compass comes from the Latin com, together, and passus, a step or pace. I feel so much safer with Latin, so let me consider the directions in Latin. North in Latin is septentrio, south meridies, east oriens, and west occidens. So meridies it is. Scientists say that monarch butterflies use built-in sun compasses to guide them. It makes sense to me, following the sun. However, 
We monarch butterflies also have our very own biological compasses and maybe even a magnetic compass on cloudy days that attracts us in the air to Earth's magnetic field. Eh? Magnet from the Latin magnetum or lodestone and finally to the Greek for stone from Magnesia, a part of Greece where lodestone was found. This is fantastic! Miraculous! Mirable misuit! Uh, I'm getting tired of flapping my butterfly wings. Yeah! An updraft! I'll tell you more about my flight to Mexico next time! For now, it's back to Earth and the Magister Janic Key Latin vocabulary. Confessio, confession. Degradior, digression, as in I digress or go off track. I'm pretty good at that. Claustrum, enclosure, like a cloister. Papilio, butterfly, in French, papillon. Monarcha, from the late Latin, and it means monarch, a king or ruler. Danaus plexipus, monarch butterfly, says Linnaeus. Metamorphosis, metamorphosis, or change, in a big way. Migrare, to change your condition. Com plus passus, is compass. Septentrio, north. Meridias, south. Oriens, east. Okidens West, Magnetum, Magnet. And don't forget to skip Lee, to keep playing Ite Pisces Go Fish. I'm calling you, my terrific listeners, MVPs. Mirable Visu people. Oh, yeah, and most valuable players. So until next time, whatever time is, join me in the skies as butterflies. And remember, non pro scola sed pro vita, not for school, but for life.